Hello friends, a very generic question. Why do we brush our teeth? To remove clogged food materials and plaques, right? Let us understand how the plaques are formed and what causes our tooth decay. Well, first, let's see the teeth. It has enamel, dentin and pulp. The white surface we see when a person smiles is nothing but the enamel. And if I ask you the hardest tissue in the human body, then you have to mention this enamel only. Enamel consists of appetite crystals containing calcium and phosphate. Also, the reason for people asking you to eat calcium-rich foods is for better health of your teeth and bones as well. Please remember friends, the enamel is harder than bones and they are non-living tissues with no nerves. To understand the proper reason behind this tooth decay, let's first look at the scenario in which the teeth are supposedly not brushed properly, leading to this. It's called dental caries. The word caries means decay in Latin. Dental caries is one of the oldest and most common diseases found in humans. The term refers to the disease and the resulting lesion. It is a prevalent chronic disease. It results from tooth adherent carcinogenic bacteria that metabolize sugar to produce acid and this acid over time demineralizes the tooth structure. You already might know that we have four types of teeth, namely incisors, canines, premolars and molars. Generally, there are deep grooves present in the molar, the big teeth in the back. These are the most common places where dental caries appears as the food is most likely to get stuck here, giving the bacteria a chance to flourish. Masses of many bacterial cells come together to form a biofilm. Here, bio refers to living organisms and film refers to layer formation. As these bacteria form a biofilm, it prevents the saliva from reaching the tooth surface. Thus, the saliva cannot neutralize the acid as the plaque covers the teeth. This lesion manifests in the dental hard tissues. It causes gradual softening of enamel and dentine. How do these bacteria get nutrition? Yes, from the food particles that stick to your teeth. Thus, it is advised to brush your teeth twice daily and also rinse your mouth every time with water after you eat. Brushing the teeth after eating removes the plaque before the bacteria produce acids. If untreated, microorganisms may invade the pulp, causing inflammation and infection. Also, do you notice that the main problem over here is the sugars? So why not cut that in our diet? Well, we can't completely omit sugars as they are the energy source for us, but we should definitely cut back the sugary snacks soda, sports and energy drinks that contain a lot of sugar. Now that we are discussing so much about teeth and tooth decay, let's not miss the foods that strengthen our teeth. So if you love cheese, go for it as it has high level of phosphate and calcium. Well, it also helps balance the pH level in our mouth. So basically less amount of harmful acid. Thus, the saliva's job is shouldered and also fewer cavities. If you know some more surprising foods good for your teeth, write them in the comment section. Let's wrap our session by mentioning some more foods good for your teeth. So leafy green vegetables, apples, carrots, celery and almonds are all a boon for healthy teeth. See you next time. Happy learning!